Antarctica, it was, it, we did a bit more than the usual touring around. We, we did some climbing and mm. cross-country skiing and, and that. Uh, and then, like I say, I went to Mount Aconcagua, which is the highest mountain in South America. And um, that was like a three week long expedition. Highest mountain in South America? Yeah, nearly summited, but the weather was really bad, minus 30 degrees on, on the day I tried to climb it. Very strong winds, so it was too dangerous to climb to the summit. And, um, and then uh, after that, I went right up through the Atacama Desert, right up and went uh, up through to uh, Bolivia. And then eventually came back to New Zealand for a reunion of a um, uh, Annapurna trip that we did in 1989. That was the New Zealand group. Mm -hmm. We had a reunion in uh, 2009. The last two trips I did, there was number 31 in 32 countries, different countries. It was uh, Mongolia and, and Indonesia. And... Um, the Mongolian trip was through a, an Australian-based company and the leader of that one was an amazing guy called Tim Cope, who, um, CIP, CIP, yeah. <laughs> who um, went on horseback all the way from um, Mongolia right through to Budapest and Hungary and it took him three and a half years to do that and we, he was our guide on the, on the trip we did last year. And we went right out to the Altai Mountains and lived amongst the, um, the nomads and, and their gear, gear camps and things like that. Mm -hmm. And just a wonderful experience in Mongolia. So you lived amongst the nomads in Mongolia? Yeah. How yeah. long did you do that for? Uh, that was for about three to four weeks. Uh, oh, yeah. Four weeks in total in Mongolia. Okay. So, mm -hmm. you know, I'm still doing uh, extended trips. Did you climb K2? No. No? <laughs> no get it right. K2 <laughs> is, uh, is the climber's mountain. It's, it's extremely difficult, difficult mm. to climb. When I was there at K2 base camp, um, there were two extreme skiers were there and one was killed. Oh, right. Uh, trying to ski down off it. Trying to ski down off K2? Yeah. Doesn't sound like such a good idea no, to me. No. no. no but it, it's very difficult. Yeah. And um, there was a woman accompanying our group and she um, was trying K2 as the last of the uh, 48,000 metre peaks. Oh, yeah. And um, yeah, she was Austrian, I think. Um, she didn't climb this time, but she went back a year later and managed to climb, or well, two years later, that's 2011, mm -hmm. and managed to climb, but from the Chinese side. Oh, yeah. But, um, so you didn't attempt it or oh anything? No, no, no. no, no. no. no well, so like I say, I was only trekking. But the highlight of our trip on that one there was uh, crossing a, a very high alpine pass called the Gondaguro La. Oh, yeah. And um, you get up around 6,000 metre uh, height. Mm. So you stayed at the K2 base? Yeah, with the climbing group. Oh, yeah. So do you, do you just do trekking in all these countries, not mountain climbing? No, no, mountain climbing yeah. as well. Um, like I say, the internet has just made it so much easier. You can, uh, mm. you don't have to pay big money and go with big companies. You can, yeah. you can rock up to a place and just organise <laughs> a local guide. Uh, so what should we say is the highlight of your trekking and your climbing? Like what was the peak that you did climb and well, the trips? Yeah. The Mongolian one was really good because it was very culturally different and yes. uh, lovely people. Um, uh, Mongolia is undergoing major change at the moment because of the mining boom they've got going on there. Yes. And um, and sublime mountains and you know, you know we were right up in the corner of Mongolia next to China, Kazakhstan and Russia. It was all sort of one area, the Altai Mountains. Mm, wow. So that was a different mm -hmm. sort of trip, culturally interesting yeah. as much as anything. Mm -hmm. um, K2 was really interesting because it's one of the most spectacular mountain areas you can possibly go to. Mm. Um, the mountains are just so big and rocky and snowy and, mm. and you know, even more spectacular than the Himalayas, uh, Mount Everest area in a way. Yeah. But so many different highlights for many reasons, you know, cultural, um, yeah. you know, different countries, different, uh, like I, I thought Pakistan would be a hotbed of Islam, yeah. you know, fanatics and stuff, but 
we found that the northeast corner of um, Pakistan was just amazingly friendly people, uh, the mountain people back in that area. At a time when there were lots of things going on in Pakistan, you know, bombings and everything else. <laughs>